launch m 2 here request software. From time to time, we get requests from customers to monitor a job process on a machine, just like JConsole does, pretty much attached to a Java process using JMX and get MBIN information from it. Well, file a JMX agent can do that with Discovery. And we will demonstrate the process with our own file agent manager. As you can see on this machine, I have a file agent manager that is being monitored. You can see JVM information. You can see information about connections. You can see information about out of process processes, queues, schedulers, servlets, etc. So let's demonstrate the process of discovering a Java process using the JMX discovery agent. The prerequisites for that is actually having a Java discovery agent running on the target machine. As you can see, we have a Java discovery agent. For that, you actually have to deploy agent packages. You have to deploy the discovery agent package as well as the JMX agent to a target machine and then create a JMX discovery agent and activate it. Once it's up and collecting data, you can go to custom application and start working from the JMX administration. The first step is actually create agents using discovery. In this case, we'll choose new configuration choose the agent manager from which we'll do the discovery and then do property lookup to see what processes are running on that machine. As you can see it looks like we have four processes. We have three agent managers and one JBoss process. Well since we can monitor JBoss on a regular basis with the regular agent let's just demonstrate this with the agent manager. As you can see, every agent manager that I choose is showing its properties. Pretty much every process that I choose shows the different properties that it has. So we're going to choose one of these guys and add them. And then next, it will discover for us the process that is actually using these properties. and give us the ability to select one of them. We'll just choose this guy. And do next. We'll create a new server model. We'll call it for Glam. model has been created. Do next and next and in this case just finish. Now we're waiting for the agent activation. Let's activate the agent. And we are now connected to an agent manager and collect data. The next step is for us to configure the model, so edit server model, add root types, and it pretty much displays for us all the root types that exist, and we can choose one of them. Monitor all available instances, and then choose all the metrics that we want to collect. In this case, I just choose everything. and finish. Now pretty much what is left for us to do is go to the custom application monitor. As you can see we have two instances of that JMX agent. The first one was the one that I created earlier and this is the second one that I just created. You can see 
JVM information. You can see the connections that I chose to collect information about. And pretty much you can repeat the process until you get a mapping of the different MBs that you would like to monitor, just like I did earlier. You can just add them one at a time, see what properties are interesting, and just collect information about the Foglet Agent Manager using JMX. Hope you find this article interesting and useful, and thank you very much for your time. With questions and comments, don't hesitate to contact me on gshemtov at quest.com.